So, Kinsey, tell me a little bit, how did you get into swimming? Um, I started doing summer league because my mom did summer league as a kid. And so swimming has always been a part of our family. And then my neighbors joined bowls in third grade. And so because of carpool, I joined also. And that's where it started. So how long have you been swimming? Um, summer league since I was four and year round since I was eight. So how is it swimming up at bowls? I love it. Love What's, what would be a, a stroke if I was going against Kenzie and we were swimming the IM? What would be a stroke that I would really, as your competitor, be worried about that, oh my gosh, here we go. This is Kinsey, Kinsey Soap. Freestyle, for sure. What do you like most about swim practice? Um, I just love being in the water, um, being with my friends. They definitely make it great because everyone's supportive of each other and we just have a fun time doing it. And this is one of Swimmer Joe's favorite questions. How many licks would it take to get the center of a Tootsie Pop? I'd have to have a Tootsie Pop to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite type of food before you go into a swim meet? Pasta. Lots and lots of pasta. And what, what is when you, let's say for instance, if we have a swim meet that is four days long. What is your pace in regards to food? What are you drinking in between sets? What are you doing in between sets before your next race? Um, I try to eat a lot of carbs while I'm at meets to keep my energy up and then just all water. Is there any particular type of outside the pool event that you like to do? Is it like hobbies or anything that you like to do? Uh, outside of the pool, there's not really much time for that, but um, just like being outside. Quick question is, is it the swimmer that makes the swimsuit or is it the swimsuit that makes the swimmer? Definitely the swimmer that makes the swimsuit. Now, why would you say that? Because um, I don't think it really matters what suit you wear. I think as long as you know what you're doing as part of the sport, then um, it's up to you to make it work. So let's say that you've listened to your coach during practice. Hey, you know, I'm doing the, the techniques. I'm doing, uh, I, I'm eating what I'm supposed to eat. And all of a sudden you go into a swim meet and you're not having the best swim meet. What, what kind of things do you do to kind of make changes to prepare yourself for the next one? Um, I usually just try to relax. Usually when I don't swim well, it's because I'm very tense. So I just try to make sure that I take deep breaths and listen to music and just talk to my teammates and um, get myself in the best state of mind I can. What's your favorite uh, dry land experience that you've gone through during practice? Um, I love when we do campus laps because Bulls has such a beautiful campus and I like running, um, so probably that. Favorite workout set, if all of a sudden your coach says, stands up on the deck and says, this is what we're going to do today, what would be your favorite set? Um, anything long and aerobic freestyle. Uh, we did a set a while back which was uh, 25 200s and I really like sets like that because I can get into my stroke and get into a good tempo. What is a stroke that if all of a sudden, or a, a, take, or a training process that you had to do, if, if all of a sudden the coach stands up and says, this is what we're doing today, you're going to go, oh no, today's going to be a long day. Uh, lots of butterflies. <laughs> we did a set and it was it told it up to be 3,300 meters butterfly, and I did not like that. <laughs> if there was a particular swim event that would be the main feature on your personal highlight wheel, what would it be? Um, real event or? Real event that you had. Okay. It's like, wow, everything went. Is there any particular swim meet or anything that you're like, today was just the best swim meet of my life? If I had to put this on my, high reel, on my highlight reel. Uh, flags this summer when I swam the mile. Um, I reached my goal time that I had been training a year for, and so definitely that one. Well, real quick, we've had a chance, and we ask this of all, not only coaches, but also our swimmers, five questions. So here we go. What is your favorite movie? Uh, high School Musical. <laughs> wow. Now, why High School Musical? <laughs> um, because my teammate Sheridan and I, uh, we like to listen to the songs. It's just a funny throwback for us. So um, probably just because of the memories that we've created through singing those songs at the meets. <laughs> We're all in this together? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I grabbed your 
listening device, and if I was sitting next to you uh, while you're getting ready to warm up for your, your, your best event, what three songs may I hear blaring out of your headphones? Um, Can't Hold Us, Centuries, and On Top of the World. If there was a movie that is being made about your personal swim life, who would you hope to be cast as you? Mm, I don't know. I think that would be a tricky one. Okay. Uh, that's, that's fair. What, um, what particular swim meet do you like going to? What particular pool do you like swimming at? Um, I love the Gator Pool in okay. Gainesville. And then another pool, I've only swum there once, but I love it, uh, the, where Summer Juniors was hosted in Irvine. Okay. We love that pool. Now, what's, what's, different about the, what's different about the Irvine pool compared to the Gator Pool? Um, I like how Irvine's all outdoors, so that way um, they have a scoreboard on the warm-up side, so that way you know what events are going on while you're warming up. Um, but then the Gator Pool has an indoor pool, which is nice because in case there's weather conditions, it's nice to have an indoor pool. Well, thank you very much for your time today, and good thank luck. Thank you. Thank you.